So Apple has introduced the latest macOS 14 version and there's no need for us to guess the name as we know that this version that has just been released is called macOS Sonoma. Before we get all excited and start looking at the features and changes and what it has to offer, we first need to know whether our Macs or our devices are supported on this new macOS version. What you see here is Apple's website and you can see here that when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma, it actually is compatible with different various models and they have dropped some and I'll compare this with the previous macOS Ventura that you can see here. So for example, you can see when it comes to the iMac, they've literally dropped two years as the iMac is now from 2019 and newer or later. And previously it used to be 2017. When it comes to the iMac Pro, you can see there it used to be 2017 and newer and that remains unchanged. So that's a plus. And then when it comes to the MacBook Air as well, you can see it remains unchanged from macOS Ventura. It's still 2018 and newer. However, when it comes to the MacBook Pro, you can see that, that it now has been updated to 2018 for macOS Sonoma and previously on macOS Ventura it used to be 2017 so for the MacBook Pro you lose one year. When it comes to the Mac Pro you can see there it remains unchanged as well. It's 2019 and later and before it was 2019 and later and Mac Studio remains unchanged since that is fairly a fairly new device and then when it comes to the Mac Mini it also drops one year behind before here as you can see on macOS Ventura. It used to be 2017 and later but now with macOS Sonoma you can see it's 2018 and newer. So these are the devices that are supported on macOS 14 Sonoma. Let me know whether you're going to be updating or not and do subscribe as I'll be covering this update extensively from the first beta up to until it's released to the general public and to everyone that have a supported device. Now stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.